Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome to the first edition. The first episode <laughs> of the... Of the <sighs> of Zoltan's podcast. Stick around because we're going to be talking a lot. All right, so for this podcast, we are going to be talking about a lot of good things, okay? Wait. Mm. Okay, so for this podcast, we're going to be talking a lot about why Corsair and Razer are competitors for the same kind of field for gaming equipment, such as mice, keyboards, and even headphones. And we're also going to be talking about why. Why on earth is pop music nowadays? so bad we're also going to be talking about the ins and outs of why you should and should not be in a band so if you're interested in that stick around because it's going to be one hell of a fight i mean night oh my gosh hey everyone as you know that this this is only the first episode of this show if you are in fact interested in any of the topics i will leave in If you are, in fact, interested in only one or even two of the chosen topics, I will leave timestamps in the description for each and every single topic. I will also be reading YouTube comments, which is something I haven't done for a while. So you guys are going to be getting a good variety of things that we will be talking about on today's podcast as much as this is not live it'll feel live because at this point I don't care and a lot of it won't even be edited so there you go if you're all right with that please tell me in the comments section below and let's get cracking so the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is why Corsair and Razer are so competitive in the same fields and yes you heard me correct they are very competitive in the very same fields and if you don't want to hear that again you may want you might just want to go right ahead and go to the next topic because today's episode is going to be bananas okay so the reason why i'm talking about this today is because i literally just got a corsair compete um la- uh keyboard i have a razor mouse right beside me i've used razor equipment for a long time i even has my ha- has i even have my razor croquettes back over down there and yes i did move on to using sennheisers because sennheiser is the ultim optimal optimal audio brand if you want to go check them out please do check them out they're worth their company worth looking at for sure 100 percent okay back on top topic why corsair and razor are competitors i think it is has something to do with the way that both of them have very similar layouts However, the way that they format and pr- and sell things to the public is just slightly different, as well as their reputations. And in and here we and I'm not going to be bringing up Turtle Beach at all, frankly because Turtle Beach is overpriced, and th- and frankly, I think that they're not even worth the money. I did have their USB microphone once before, and it sounded like total ass for a hundred dollars I would prefer using the um, the microphone built into my laptop over the Turtle Beach uh, um, USB microphone but let's not talk about that sure Sennheiser I mean sure 
Razer has made quite a few other products besides Corsair. They have made phones, computers, even microphones. Okay, so the, the closest thing that I can find that is actually close to a microphone is one of their USB um, stereo headsets. And I guess you could you could count that in the same realm. I mean, they do fall underneath sort of the same category, even though they don't really. Audio headgear, audio gear for your ears, and for your voice are very different things. Put them together and you have a masterpiece, so long as they both sound good. Because I will not be getting a headset that has a microphone on it ever again. For more reasons than just one, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I was correct. They don't really make microphones. They generally just buy them off of a of a of a mass-produced company that makes uh, headset microphones, and then they just buy them off of it just so that they get some productivity into their uh, headsets. Most Sennheiser has actually made microphones themselves, such as the Razer Siren, Razer Siren Pro, and their new uh, Razer Siren, which I am actually interested in buying, but I am going to stick with my Shure SM7B for the time being. And of course I'd be plugging it into my Focusrite Scarlet because that is my daily USB um, uh, interface driver, of course. So, why I think that their competitors is because of the fact that they do have some similar products, such as their keyboards, which actually do have some similarities between them. They do use Cherry MX switches, and they do have sort of a similar of a build. Most of Razer's um, equipment in terms of computer, uh, in terms of keyboards, they're for the most part metal. Their keys are obviously plastic, and their switches do have a sort of similar feel. The Cherry MX Reds, especially. The I have the Corsair K70 Lux, which has Cherry MX Reds, and so far I'm pretty pretty happy with it. When I recorded the Tattletale episode a couple, uh, week and a half ago, I believe, um, I had a Logitech G, G413. And it had Romer G switches, which I was not a huge fan of, but then again, that was just me. Hold on, I will legitimately just pry off all of these ones right, these keys right here. And I will give you a look at what the switches look like. See? There they are. Those are Cherry MX Reds. As I had just stated. Oh, for fuck. Okay, so, like I said, Cherry MX Reds. They, sound, they do feel really nice, and I am very happy with them so far. I don't know what they'll be like in the long run, because... Frankly, I've only owned so many keyboards. The first keyboard I, I bought, which I've gotten a lot of criticism for, and I am not going to delete that video, but I bought a USB keyboard on Amazon uh, that I was sup thought was mechanical, but it wasn't. It was actually membrane. I took it apart only to see that there were membrane-style switches um, uh, brains underneath the keys. As for these, I know for a fact that these are, in fact, those are, in fact, real mechanical switches, which I am very happy with and I'm going to be using for a while until I figure out what I actually want out of a, out of a mechanical keyboard. But so far, this fits the, uh, the criteria so far. Now back on, on to why Razer and 
Corsair, our competitors. They do make very similar products, as I just stated. I'm going to actually actually have to check which... Um, Hold on. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, turns out I was incorrect. Um, okay. Mm. Okay. So it turns out I was incorrect, but I, I was, I was, I was kind of expecting that to be perfectly honest. And... Honestly, I'm not at all upset about that. As much as I was really close to believing that they did have keyboards with Cherry MX Reds, I was I was just proven to myself incorrectly because I had just looked it up. However, they do use Cherry MX Greens, Oranges, Yellows, and Blues. Well, Corsair uses Reds and Speed and all those other ones. And am I am I um, surprised about that? Not in the least. And I do have my reasons for that. So far, in terms of my experience with Corsair, so far their products are actually legitimately nice. Um, the Logitech one that I had was had the kind of, had the kind of same um feel in terms of the body frame uh nice uh nice polished uh, metal that kind of has a wooden look but then again has a very metal feel because it is metal and it's it's kind of, it kind of has the same feel as my uh Focusrite Scarlet over here that's getting actually kind of dusty um but that was one big thing that that turned me on so far about Corsair is the fact that they use somewhat different switches. And so far I haven't come across um, a keyboard that I actually am adoring, but so far this is the one that I am going with because of the fact that so far it fits my uh, my stand my uh, my standards. <laughs> Okay, next topic. Why modern pop music is so bad compared to 80s and 70s and even some 90s. Right now. Alright, so now we are going to be talking about why pop music nowadays is so bad um, compared to music from... From decades ago, such as, um, there are a lot of pop bands that I'm not going to mention that are, in fact, not very good. There are also plenty of pop bands from the 70s, 80s, and 90s that are also very bad. However, there were a lot of more nicer um, pop bands back then than there are now because it's a lot of computer-generated stuff and it's just not fun to listen to. For me, I would rather some skill. For example, my guitar over there, which you cannot see because... Actually, yes, you can. There it is. <laughs> And, um, of course, my, my amp is literally right there. <laughs> Jesus, why am I doing that? I'm such a dope. Okay. So, back on topic. My opinion is people have a different... have a different feel for uh, music. There is a lot of new demand for different types of music and does that mean a lot of variety in new genres of course that does for example uh stephen wilson's new album uh to the bone is very 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 influenced by tears for fears and 
a lot of other old pop bands that I have come to um come to love. Um but that is just one of the very that is just one of the very good pop out there nowadays. The the one other thing that goes on nowadays is the fact that autotune has become such an easy thing to access. And of course, for me, that means a lot less um, effort in making music and a lot more just trying to make a, an album like Drake, <laughs> like Drake, that's just like all auto-tune, all computers, and a huge studio that you could just do at home, pick up, picking up a Shure SM7B or a Shure SM57 or a, a Blue Yeti or an Audio-Technica AT2020 or, or even an MXL770. And you can just go right ahead. And you can just go ahead and wrap it. Download a a fucking uh, a V a VST of auto tune for free. Plug it into Audacity. And then just do that. You don't have to spend millions and millions and millions of dollars to make a pop album that will not sound any better than if you do it like I'm recording music in the first place. And do I recommend that anybody do it? No, absolutely not. Do not do what Drake does. No, actually, don't do what anyone who sounds like any of those artists does now. Because for one, no effort, no feel, no emotion, and it's just not worth doing. Instead, go ahead, learn an instrument, learn about old music, such as Genesis, learn to love it, learn to love Bee Gees, learn to love stuff from the 70s, 80s, and sometimes even the 90s, like Tears for Fears. Come to love those. Be inspired by those people, because they actually put a lot of work into their music. Do I think that there are some, that a lot of, Artists nowadays just don't put a lot of effort into their music, of course. There is not a lot of effort put into music anymore, which is very, 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 very sad. Do I care? Of course. Is it going to change? No, not at all. It's not going to change no matter how hard you try. Does that make me sad? Of course. Yes, of course. But guess what? That's not going to change. Well, people will continue to make shitty music just because they can. And because the public demands this kind of stuff. And guess what? It's not healthy. And if it keeps on going, the world of music will go... <laughs> it'll legitimately just fall down to the ground. No good music will be produced anymore. It'll be produced on a $500 laptop... With a microphone that is as good as a Blue Yeti for $30, such as the newer NW700 or 7000 or 8000 or 800. Picking up a Behringer um, audio interface and just going right ahead and just rapping or just singing bad, auto-tuning it, making a drum beat, and... If you're lucky, you'll add a little bit of a guitar in there, here and there, but probably adding like some e easy sweet chords or some deeper minor chords like A minor or such or um, B minor. But no one cares about um, G major uh, sustained seventh or um, or. Or C major add nine, 
or or anything like that. No one cares about that kind of stuff anymore, and it's really sad. Of course. What can I do about it? There's nothing for me to do about it. Am I going to do anything about it? Of course not. What can I do about it? Pretty much nothing. Um, There's pretty much nothing I can actually do about it, but... Take my advice and go listen to some really good music. Or wait until the, um, Benjamin, the, Men- the Benjamin's Kite album gets released in May or June of 2018. And my album, I mean both albums, what am I talking about? Um, my solo album, my self-titled album called... A World Without Color, coming 2018 to 2019. Do not know when it's coming out, but it's going to come out. And finally, for the last topic of the day, why and why, why you should and should not be in a band in a few seconds. Okay, I am back. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Even though that this will feel like one second for you, it was about two, three minutes because my computer was lacking such. Okay, so we are. So I am back to why you should and should not be in a band. The first reason for why you should be in a band is generally because of the fact that you can actually be considered working with music. For me, it is something that I adore. If I want to make music, I want to make music. And yes, it is generally quite fun. However, it also depends on if you are very enthused about music and love it so much that you will actually try to learn how to play an instrument to if you just listen to it. And if you just listen to it, then, you know, just listen to it why you shouldn't be in a band is because it is very hard to gather people who will actually agree with your genre. And if you're going to be the leader of said band, the things that they will want versus the things that you will want will be very, very, very different. Will there actually be a perfect band out there? Of course not. One came close, said Genesis. They came very close. However, they never found uh, a a genre any of them could agree with a huge deal. However, the albums that they produced, they are very happy with now. But, what can I say? Reason two as to why you shouldn't be in a band is because of the fact that you could actually risk your entire life by doing that. You cannot just go ahead and follow your dreams becoming a musician without having a fallback plan or having done it as a hobby. Because depending on the way that it's going, the only way that you can actually just go ahead and record music is through having a job making money, and paying a studio to actually help record your music. And that is pretty much it. Now, time for me to up my gain to 100%. Time for me to go right ahead and be very, very quiet and read some comments. Let's go ahead. Okay, so, I have totally upped my gain to 100%. Now, I have to be very quiet, or else you guys will have a lot of pain in your ear.
first comment. Your hair is longer than mine was four years ago. Of course it is. For you to grow your hair so long requires time and patience. And if you aren't careful what you do, careful with it, and that is question, that is comment one, answer on new equipment review. By the same person, you look so triggered, next The return of the whisper challenge. Thank you for your excellent comment. I was in fact very triggered. And yes, it was one hell of a thing that I will dare to admit. Because that was a challenge to be reckoned with. I have hair being thrown into my face on the top of the microphone. This is making me triggered. And the last comment. By, sorry, the first two comments were by Twisted Smile Six. This last comment is by Bonnie Blue Bunny. Hilarious! Oh my God! I loved the editing. Why, thank you for the lovely comment. Now, it's time for me to bring my game back to 100 to about 94% and speak up because right now the only way that you guys will be able to hear me is if I bring my microphone up. Well, that was generally quite terrifying. I don't think I've ever actually had to be quiet for such a big reason just because of the fact that it was like, wow, he is actually being quiet for once. And yes, I know that is kind of surprising because I'm almost never quiet. And is that a bad thing? Of course not. But then again, it can be. It can be a bad thing. But that does it for this episode of this podcast if you enjoyed it please leave a like share and subscribe and if you want to see more of this and give me a topic please leave a comment in the description i mean in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next podcast peace